Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on escape velocity with explanation and solved examples. You have probably seen rockets launch into space. These rockets need a huge kick or push to leave the earth's surface. This push is needed because of the earth's strong gravitational field. So if this rocket has to leave earth's surface such that it does not fall back on earth then it must have a velocity equal to escape velocity. So before going any further let us discuss what is escape velocity. Now you might have seen a ball thrown upwards in the air. Now when we throw it upwards, it first ascends and then fall back on the earth. If we again throw it with a greater velocity than the previous, then in this case it rise to a greater height than the previous launch. Now a question arises, can we keep on increasing velocity of ball to move to a height where it does not return back to earth? Is it possible? And the answer is yes. So if an object is launched from the earth surface at a high enough velocity so that it can ascend into space and never return back then this velocity is known as escape velocity of earth. Now that we have defined escape velocity let us look at its formula. So escape velocity is given by relation V e is equals to under root 2 g m divided by r. So this is the formula for escape velocity. We would not be deriving this formula here in this video. But anyway, let us now look at the meanings of all these symbols we have used in this formula. So here VE is the escape velocity. M is mass of planet. R is radius of the planet. And G is gravitational constant. And the value of this gravitational constant is g is equals to 6.674 times 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. Now from this escape velocity formula we can clearly see that this escape velocity does not depend on properties of the escaping object and, on, and only factors that matter are mass and radius of the planet. Now one important thing to note here is that and you must remember this also that escape velocity of earth is equals to 11.2 kilometer per second which corresponds to 25,000 mile per hour. Now that we have learned about escape velocity formula, we look at some problems that uses it. Let us now look at our first question. The first question is calculate a body's escape velocity from the moon Assume that the moon is a sphere with a radius 1.76 times 10 to the power 6 meter and a mass of 7.36 times 10 to the power 22 kilogram. Let us now look at our solution. Now as usual, we would first write down all the information given in the question. So it is given in the question that radius of the moon is equal to 1.76 times 10 to the power 6 meter and mass of the moon is equals to 
सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स टाइम्स टेन टू दावर ट्वेंटी टू के जी न स्केप वेलॉसिटी इज गिवन बाई द रिलेशन वी ई इज इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट टू जी एम अपॉन आर न इन दिस फॉर्मूला वी ऑलरेडी नो एम वी ऑलरेडी नो आर एंड जी हेयर इज नथिंग बट यूनिवर्सल ग्रेविटेशनल कॉन्स्टेंट हुज वैल्यू इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन टाइम्स टेन टू दावर इलेवन न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर के जी होल स्क्वायर नाउ वी विल प्लग इन ऑल दीज वैल्यूज इन दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर एस्केप फिलोसिटी सो पुटिंग इन ऑल द वैल्यूज वी गेट वी ई इज इक्वल्स टू टू टाइम्स सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर इलेवन टाइम्स सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर सिक्स ना आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ वी ई स्केप फिलोसिटी इज इक्वल्स टू टू थ्री सेवन फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड और इन टर्म्स ऑफ किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड इट इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड दिस इज आर रिक्वायर्ड आंसर लेटस नाउ लुक एट आर क्वेश्चन टू it states that a black hole is a body from which nothing can escape what conditions must be met for a uniform spherical body of mass m to be a black hole what should the radius of a black hole be if it has mass 9 times that of the earth and it is given that mass of the earth is equals to 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg and universal gravitational constant is equals to 6.67 times 10 to the power 11 newton meter square per kg square now let us look at our solution now from einstein's special theory of relativity we know that speed of any object cannot exceed the speed of light so even light should not escape a body that is a black hole so c is the upper limit of the projectile's escape velocity hence for the body to be a black hole its escape velocity ve should be less than or equal to c which is the velocity of light so now if the mass of the black hole is mb and it is given in the question that it is 9 times greater than the mass of earth so mb is equals to 9 times mass of earth now putting in the value of mass of the earth we get mb is equals to 9 times 6 times 10 to the power 24 kg now we would have to rearrange the escape velocity formula to get the value of r so we know that ve is equals to root of 2 g m by r now here in case of black hole ve is equals to c so c is equals to root of 2 g m upon r so if we want to find the value of r we would have to square both the sides and after rearranging this equation we get r is equals to 2 gm upon c square now we would plug in all the values given in the question so r is equals to 2 times 6.67 times 10 to the power 11 times 9 times 6 into 10 to the power 24 divided by 3 into 10 to the power 8 whole square on calculating we get r to be nearly equals to 8 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter or nearly equals to 8 cm now our question 3 states that jupiter has 318 times the mass of earth and its radius is 11.2 times that of the earth 
Calculate the escape velocity of a body from Jupiter's surface assuming that the escape velocity from Earth's surface is 11.2 km per second. Let us now look at our solution. Now escape velocity from Earth's surface is Ve is equals to root of 2G Me divided by R E is equals to 11.2 kilometer per second where this me is mass of earth and this re is radius of earth now if ve dash is escape velocity of jupiter then it is given by the relation ve dash is equals to 2g mj upon rj where this mj is mass of Jupiter and this rj is radius of Jupiter. Now it is given in the question that this mj is equals to 318 times mass of earth and this radius of Jupiter is equals to 11.2 times the radius of earth. Therefore, Putting in all these values in this equation, we get escape velocity for Jupiter is equals to root of 2g times 318 times mass of earth divided by 11.2 times radius of earth. Now, if we rearrange this equation, we get root of 2g me divided by re times 318 divided by 11.2. Or we can write it as ve, where ve is escape velocity of earth times root of 318 divided by 11.2 now we know that escape velocity of earth is 11.2 kilometer per second so uh, putting in the value of escape velocity of earth we get it equal to 11.2 times 318 divided by 11.2 now calculating this we get or result equal to 59.7 kilometer per second so this is our required answer this 59.7 kilometer per second is escape velocity of jupiter so this is it for now thanks for watching